Okay, so in this series, this is gonna be a special series. I'm actually going to rebuild this Lofuchi lion. It's been, all of this was damaged by rats. I just took out the fur, but all of this was damaged by rats. The best part about this series is not only are we gonna be rebuilding this, but we're gonna take every single frame, every single pieces off, measure it, write it down, and then we're gonna put this one back together and we're gonna build another one on the side. So we're gonna have two lines at the end of this series. Okay, so now that we have the line torn apart, what we're gonna do now is take a part of all the strips, every single piece, and just measure from there. Okay, so in the last clip, I actually did not show the process of doing the measurement because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so what I did, just give a quick rundown, is I took the nose apart, completely apart, and then I did the measurement on the nose each individual strip. I did the same thing with the eye. I took this whole side apart, I measured every single strip, and then I double measured it by doing the same thing on this side, and then I wrote down the measurement on this side. All right, so let's say for an example, this piece, after I measure it, I did a little, I put a piece of tape on a notebook paper, marked down the measurement. I did that every single one. And then what I did after that was, I just disassembled this from the main part where it attached to the frame. So for example, I'll take this whole side off, take this little piece off right there, take all this off right here. So the whole eye would come off as one piece. And then I went ahead and measured out the mouth and I did the frame. As you can see, main piece, And I actually started building my line already. So this is the model line, and this is my line. Pretty similar. Compared to that. There you have it. So the only difference with this line right now is the one thing I do notice is right here, the mouth, it sticks up a little higher. As far as mine, it kind of sags down a little bit. That's fine, you know, it's not a 100% match and I'm not really too picky about it. As far as the height wise, I believe it's just slightly higher than the line that we're using as reference. Yeah, slightly higher. I think it's maybe about an inch or so higher. Yeah, when you measure the line, you're not gonna get 100% accuracy. It's gonna be a couple inches off. So you just gotta accept it. As far as the mouthpiece, it's, I try to get as accurate as I could. Um, I wish that this piece would sit a little bit higher, but it's all good. A lot of this is gonna be covered by fur anyways. Uh, as far as the eye, this one, this line is actually one of the most complicated line I've tried to build. and. It was pretty fun actually. The back of this line, I wish it kind of like pushed in more. As you can see this one right here. Let me see. Let me just hang it right here so you can see the difference between my line and the original. So the original has a little bit more of a curve. Mine is more straight. So to accomplish this, what I should have done was before I did all these pieces, I should have had tied a rope right there and tightened it right there. So this right now, what this rope is doing is it's squeezing the frame inward a little bit. And using this rope right here, just kind of strain out the mouth. 